following Jesus is better not easy. So I want to do an Old Testament one because um, Old Testament's cool too. So especially David stuff. So Second Samuel seven, and I'm I'm gonna focus on um, verses eighteen and nineteen. Um, Second Samuel seven. Hey. So let me give some context to this ahead of time, and then and then we'll jump into those verses. But uh, so essentially, David is is um, is king now. Um, so he's uh, been anointed as king not too long ago, and he's basically starting his reign. Um, he has uh, his wife Michal, and um, and they're kind of going into reigning in Israel. Right, everything's kind of happening here. Um, so. David, uh, he's talking to Nathan. So at the beginning of chapter seven, it says this, it says, now when the king lived in his house and the Lord had given him rest from all of his surrounding enemies, because David has, has defeated the Philistines. He's defeated these, these different people around him. Right. Um, when he's, when, when the Lord had given him rest, basically, uh, the king said to Nathan, the prophet, uh, see now, uh, the king said to Nathan, the prophet, see now I dwell in a house of cedar. But the, but the ark of God dwells in a tent. And Nathan said to the king, go do that is, uh, that is in your heart for the Lord is with you. So he's basically talking to Nathan. And he's like, he's like, I live in a house of cedar, but God lives in a tent. Like there's something to that. Right. Mm-hmm. And so he's like kind of thinking through like what's going on. And then the whole next section, I'm not going to read it, but God basically comes to Nathan because Nathan's a prophet and he talks to Nathan and he says, you know, um, here's what I need you to tell David. Basically, I'm going to bring up your offspring and your offspring is going to create a house for me to dwell in talking about Solomon building the temple. Right. Um, and so this magnificent thing that's going to come. And so God tells him this whole entire plan that's going to happen. And he, he, he details it pretty well. Mm-hmm. Right. He says, your son is going to be, um, uh, your son is, I'm going to, uh, what does it say? He says, um, sorry. I will raise up your offspring after you who shall come from your body and I will establish his kingdom. He shall build a house for my name and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. I will be to him a father and he shall be to me a son. So it's, it's saying here that Solomon is going to be someone who follows me. Right. Um, and is that what it's saying? I believe so. Yes. It says, I will I be to him. I thought it was talking about Jesus. It, it might be, but, but this is also talking, I think it's probably both, right? Because I think it's talking about Solomon and it's talking about Jesus here, at least in my opinion. And again, this isn't this, I could be totally wrong here, okay. but, but there's a reason why I'm kind of bringing this up. And, and that's not like the main point that I'm trying to make here. Um, but he's, he's establishing his kingdom, right? He's talking about the temple because I think he's talking about both the temple and the kingdom that's to come, mm-hmm. right? Jesus's kingdom. Right. So it's, it's both, um, but the, the thing that I want to talk about is David's response to this because God lays out all the stuff that's going to happen. And it's like, what, what is your response? You know, whenever God comes to you or, or he makes us this, like, not that he's ever come to me and been like this, I declare on your life, you know, but, mm-hmm. but there has been very specific things in my life that he has been very clear about. For example, me being in ministry, right? This is something that wasn't a negotiable since I was in middle school. It was like, Nope, this is what you're going to do. And you can't imagine doing anything else with your life, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and that's why I'm in ministry now. That's why I'm doing the YouTube stuff. That's why I'm doing what I do. Mm-hmm. Like I texted you earlier today, a comment that someone sent. Mm-hmm. And it's like, this is why we do what we do, mm-hmm. you know, because of this comment. The comment was like, um, it was like, I'm 52 years old. And, and I wanted to tell you because of this video, it changed my mind and it helped me understand this in a more godly way. Mm-hmm. And it's like, that's why I do what I do, Yeah, you know? And this video isn't even like a Bible preaching, like reading the scripture video. Right. It's completely not about that at all. Right. Right. But I was still able to at least convey a godly message through that, Mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And it's like, to me, that blows my mind. And I have, I have a, 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 a response to what God calls me to, right? When he calls me to ministry, I could go around to everybody and be like, oh, I'm going to be in ministry. Mm -hmm. God's going to call me to ministry. I know that he is. You better give me this opportunity Mm -hmm. or I could react in humility and say, I know that God's going to do this and I'm going to follow whatever it is that he wants me to do. Yeah. Right. Whether it's being the janitor or whatever, right. you know, like right. no matter what he's putting you. Right. Whether it. it's being in part-time ministry for six years, yeah. right. Barely making it by, yeah. which is exactly what happened to us. Mm-hmm. Right. But God had a plan in that because he was using my humility and he was using my purpose in that time, you know, mm-hmm. 
but here's David's response. And I, and I love this because it, it, it tells us so much about who David is and why God calls him a man after my own heart. Mm -hmm. And so uh, verse 18, David's response starts here. It says, The king David went in and sat before the Lord and said, Who am I, O Lord God? And what is my house that you have brought me thus far? Who am I, right? Mm -hmm. Like, who am I? Mm -hmm. What is my house? Like, what value do I have that you would do this for me, that you would do this through me? Mm-hmm. And then verse 19, and yet, uh, and yet this was a small thing in your eyes, O Lord. You have spoken also of your servant's house for a great while. O come. And, and this in, is, is instruction for mankind, O Lord God. So it's like, it's not just for him. He understands that this is bigger than him. This is all of mankind, right? And it's like, he, he can't even believe what he's hearing. Mm-hmm. He's like, God, why would you use me? Mm -hmm. Like, what value do I bring? What could I do for you? Right? Yeah. And we see that through, like, the Psalms and stuff, too. Like, this understanding that David is like, you know, like, God, you are greater than anything, and I could never add anything to you. Mm -hmm. And yet you choose to use me. Mm -hmm. And yet you choose to use my house. And yet you put me in a position where I could never have gotten myself, right? And it's like... I feel that way so often in my life because of the talents that he's given me, because of the opportunities that he's given me, our YouTube channel, everything that he's been doing, right? The fact that I'm married to you. Like there's like, there's so many things that like God has made abundantly clear in my life. Like I have done this for you for whatever reason, right? And it's up to you how you respond to it, Mm. right? Mm -hmm. And it's like, God, why? Like why me Mm -hmm. out of everybody, right? Yeah. Like, I I understand some of it, right? Like, you've given me this talent. You've given me this ability. You've done whatever, right? Like, but, like, why trust me instead of these other people? And and the thing is, like, I see it so often, too, with other people in my life. Because I see other people that have the same talents or more. I see other people that have the same opportunities or more. I see other people that have the same blessings or more, right? And yet, their response to it destroys them. Yeah. Because the response to it is, ah, look at me. Yeah. I'm so great. And God's going to do amazing things through me. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> like that's the response, right? Uh-huh. And it makes me so sad. I was going to say mad, and it does. But it also makes me sad. Yeah. Because those people could have everything that God wants to give them. Mm-hmm. Not like in a prosperity, like, oh, if you do this, God will give you that. But right. They could have everything that God wants to give them, mm-hmm. and yet they refuse to listen to him, yeah. right? Yeah. They refuse to do what he wants because they think that their word is, is better. They think that what they want is better. Mm-hmm. And their response to what God gives them destroys what God wanted to give them in the first place. Yeah. Yeah, it's so sad. Pride. It's the same thing that we've been talking about this whole time. Is It's the pride of man. Leads to destruction. Leads to destruction. Isn't that a thing? I don't know the whole Bible by heart, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What are your thoughts about that? How, how David responded there? Yeah, like that's that's epic humility, epic humility right there. Yeah. Um, which David always um, shows, and and he's perfect in every way. What more can David say to you? You know that your servant Lord. That was a God. joke, by the way. Sorry. Good. What did you say? I said David's perfect in every way, and he never made one single mistake. <laughs> Uriah. Well, there's, <laughs> there's a lot of mistakes Uriah, he made. Uriah, <laughs> Bathsheba. Be- David being David in general. I mean, he he made a lot of mistakes, for sure. But, go ahead. I'm trying to think of all his mistakes. Well, I'm sure not all of them are in Scripture. Okay, but. <laughs> because of your word and according to your will, you have revealed all these great things to your servant. Yeah, it's just... I kept reading when you stopped, um, and, like, he said, for all mankind, and that was huge, but then he's, like, you're doing all, he literally says you're doing all these great things through your servant. So, yeah, it's, it's amazing. Um, Yeah, I can't even think of more to add to that. What is, what is your response? You know, like, I feel like God has given so much to you in your life, you know, 
and done so much through through you even coming to him in the first place, right? And doing things like giving you the opportunity to even move to Tennessee and having the new job that you have and yeah. like all these different things. Like what is your response to that? You know, how do you feel when God continues to do that? Like how do you respond? It's crazy. Yeah. You know, like it's it's like I was just at the park and I'm like thank you <laughs> like yeah. you didn't have to bring me here like this is like my dream state right mm-hmm. like um that i have known right like um and and i'm and you brought me here and sure it's hard sure we don't have friend like for right now it's it's a hard season but it's also an it's such a weird season that i feel like i'm in because yeah. i'm so grateful so abundantly grateful for my job for for where we're at for like the financials, right? Like there's so many blessings, yeah. right? But it's also super hard. Yeah. Like I miss my family. I miss our friends. I miss our church. Like I love our church now though. Like even yeah. that is a blessing. Like I, like. Yeah, but there's no safety net. There's no like, we don't have that network that we had before. Right. Like if we did run out of money, sure we'd have the new church that we have, but we don't have as many like connections there right, or right. like, you know, not as deep roots. Right. Exactly. Um, and so like if, if something did happen, let's say our YouTube channel got destroyed or something like we'd have to figure out something real quick, yeah, you know, yeah. like, and so that's kind of scary, you know, it like is. we, we took a, a, a leap of faith coming here and doing what we're doing now, but God mm-hmm. has continually blessed us right. even though he didn't have to, right. you know, we didn't come here because we had the promise we're of blessings. We're not great. We're not, you know what I mean? <laughs> right. we're, we're sinful, broken people. I have anger issues and forgiveness issues issues all the right. freaking time and it's annoying i just said freaking which i'm sure some christians think that that's horrible <laughs> um and like i'm just it's like i'm so broken there's no there's no re everything since i've become a christian from meeting you from finding my church everything god has been abundantly like right amazing to me you yeah. know you're going to make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, crying equals more views. So whatever. Zoom in. Enhance. Stop. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but obviously I, I think God has obviously blessed us a ton yeah. and, and put us in positions that we never thought we would be put in. Right. Right. Um, like having, for me, like there's been several times where I get a job because I don't have a, yeah, a, a yeah. degree. Like that's the craziest thing ever. Like that's not how the world actually works, right. but God con- constantly, he's like, there's like no amount of blessing that I can say that he hasn't done. Does that make sense? Right. <laughs> like I mean, think about the voice that we have now, right? Yeah. Like through our, through our channel, like we've reached almost 5 million people now, mm-hmm. right? Our goal, which we thought was impossible, was 10 million. Yeah. And yet it's We're seeming happier. more attainable, uh, you know? Okay, stop. You're going to get us copyright, <laughs> copyright striked. Um, but, it, but God is making it happen, you yeah. know? And it's like, okay, God, if I can dream this big, what else, what else can we do together? Right. You know, what else can you do through me? Yeah. Uh, like, <laughs> who am I, O oh Lord? Yes. And what is my house? You know? Mm-hmm. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just the truth. Yeah. Who am I, O oh Lord? And what is my house? Who am I that you are mindful of me? That you love me, Right. It's like, man, God, thank you for being so good. Thank you for being who you are. He's just good, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm thankful for that, for sure. Because like we say all the time, following Jesus is better, not easy. Thank you, I didn't wear that. And that means that Things could be harder, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Things could be more difficult, and yet we would still praise him all the more. And it is hard. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it is. It's it so is. hard. It's been very difficult. Yeah. Going through our marriage, being alone here in Tennessee. Yeah. Walking through no friends, walking yeah. through no roots, no network. Yeah. Like finding a church, going through all that stuff, I figuring out shop details. I by myself. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> but for us, like coffee by myself that's harder i love shopping by myself if i'm honest but coffee by myself oh that uh-huh. hurts so so hard mm-hmm, so that, much thank you <laughs> <laughs> yeah but i i have hope in the faith that we have that even though it's harder and even though it could get even harder 
we still understand that what God wants us to do is better. You know, three, four years ago, we would have never, ever, ever guessed that God would have us where we are. I wanted to be here three or four years ago. I'm not saying just physically in Tennessee. <laughs> I'm saying everything that's happening, right? Yeah. Everything that's happening with our YouTube channel, with your job. Like, yeah. you know, like there's so many things in our life that we could have never done on our own. Right. And yet God has us here, you know? Mm-hmm. And, and that's not to say like, <clears throat> that's not us like bragging, you know? No. It's not us like looking at the people who are watching and being like, Oh, look at us. Look how great our life is. Like, it's hard, bro. Like, like everything we've done in our lives has been hard, but it's because we choose to follow God Yeah. that he is doing the things that he's doing because no matter what, it will be better, but not necessarily easier. Hey, Brandon here. If you want to check out this full episode, you can do that on patreon.com slash the snipe life. This is the best way to help us to support what we're doing here on the better, not easy channel. Thank you very much. So just remember. That following Jesus is better, not easy.